One of these days I'm gonna learn how to ride this bike. So we're going to answer the question, did I have the vid? And we're gonna find out. So I am just now leaving the uh, medical center where I gotta put my kickstand up before I can put it in gear. Interesting concept. One of these days I'm gonna learn how to ride this bike. So we're on our way back home. I had an appointment at another lab core and did a complete motor vlog everything but I forgot to ha I didn't have my lavalier microphone plugged in to the uh, to the GoPro so I have, I have to redo my motor vlog I think I just took a wrong turn I oh, would we'll just take a tour of the parking lot here for a second how's that I think I got to go back out the way I came in so anyway, I went up to the lab core in uh, Plano and stood there outside waiting. I had an appointment. Uh, they wanted you to wait outside, use your mobile phone. They'll text you when it's time to come in. And I'm standing out there like an idiot for 10 minutes. And then I realized there's a sign on the door. I went and read the sign and it said they had a power outage and that location was closed. So I had to come back over to this one at Carrollton, which was right next to where I live, near where I live anyway. I don't know why I couldn't have made an appointment here, but when I tried to make my appointment online, uh, it wouldn't let me make an appointment at this lab core. It made me go to the other one, which is uh, much farther away. So I came over here, got it done, got my microphone plugged into my GoPro, which is good. And... Uh, now we can start the great oil debate. I promised you last time we were going to talk about oil. Oh, there's a new uh, Yamaha Star Venture. Nice looking bike. Big bike. And before I get started, I want to say to you, if this is your first time uh, watching one of my motor vlogs, welcome to Cruise Man's Garage. Please take a second to click that subscribe button down below and click that little bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you about the best motorcycle videos on YouTube. That's our channel right here. We appreciate you subscribing. So I'm going to give you my opinion on how I changed the oil in my motorcycle on my 2018 plus Goldwing. And uh, this is just my philosophy and why I do it the way I do it. You do not have to accept my philosophy. You don't have to do things the way I do it. If you don't like my philosophy, do it your way. I don't care how you change the oil in your bike. Um, I'm just going to tell you why I do things the way I do it. Now the first thing is how often do you change your oil? That's the first question, first thing we're going to talk about. On this 2018 to 2020 Goldwing, Honda recommends changing the oil every 8,000 miles. And they recommend changing the filter every 16,000 miles, I think. I'll have to double check that. And in my opinion, that's just stupid. Now, unlike Honda, I do not have an environmental policy. I'm not trying to keep the green nuts happy with me. I'm not trying to save the planet. I'm trying to extend the life of my motorcycle. So, I change my oil every 3,500 to 4,000 miles. And I do have done that with every motorcycle I've ever owned that's a street bike. Now, if I had a dirt bike, it'd be different. If I was riding out in the dirt, you know, you'd have to change it more often. But on a street bike, I think 3,500 to 4,000 miles is, that's kind of my threshold. And as far as the oil filter, I change the filter every time I change the oil. To me, it doesn't make any sense to change the oil and not change the filter. And I'll tell you why here in just a little bit. 
Now the next question is, or let me go back a step. All of my philosophy on oil changing is based on the notion that you will never harm an engine with fresh oil. Dirty, contaminated oil can harm an engine, but fresh oil will never hurt your engine. So clean, fresh oil and a new filter is never going to do any harm. Now the next question is, conventional oil or synthetic? Well, first of all, if you think by some reason you're using synthetic oil, you're not using crude oil, uh, that could be incorrect because many synthetic oils originate from crude oil. They're just distilled differently and maybe they have different modifiers and other chemicals added to them. But many synthetic oils are actually derived from crude oil. There are some synthetic oils that may come from other sources. You have to check with your oil manufacturer. I use conventional oil in my Goldwing. Now, if you have a motorcycle, like a sport bike, high tolerances, running 12 to 15,000 RPM, you may need the additional protection of a synthetic oil. So what I'm telling you now is for my Goldwing. And a Goldwing will run just fine with conventional oil. So you can save some money. The big thing about synthetic oil is the oil doesn't break down at high temperature as much. It doesn't break down with high RPMs, high temperatures, and uh, over a period of time. I'm not keeping my oil 15 or 20,000 miles. I'm not concerned about oil breakdown. If I'm going to change my oil every 3,500 to 4,000 miles, I'm wasting money on synthetic oil. So I have used synthetic oil in my Goldwing in my 2012. I couldn't tell the difference. And a lot of people ask the question, if I switch to synthetic oil, can I then switch back to conventional oil? And the answer is yes. You just need to change your oil and your filter like you normally would. You can switch between them. It doesn't hurt your engine at all. So for a period of time, I ran synthetic oil in my 2012 Goldwing, and then I just went back to conventional oil because I, I realized there really isn't much advantage if you're changing oil every 3,500 to 4,000 miles. Now that's my opinion. I'm not concerned about the oil breaking down. My biggest concern, concern is contamination. Is the oil clean? because it's the contaminants in the oil that can harm your engine. If you take some fresh oil and put it between your thumb and your forefinger and you rub it together, you'll feel how slick it is. Now dip one of your fingers into some sand and rub it between your two fingers and you'll feel that gritty feeling. That's what your dirty oil could be doing to the internal components of your engine. It's basically grinding away or sanding away at the surfaces and that's what harms your engine. It could damage your rings or your pistons or your cylinders. So keeping the oil clean is the key. That's why I don't understand why Honda doesn't want to change the filter with every oil change. Now it costs more to do this but in my opinion, what does it cost to rebuild or replace an engine? And I think it may reduce the chance of an engine failure. So now the next question is, what about the brand of oil? Should I use Honda or if you have a BMW or whatever your manufacturer recommends? My opinion. As long as you're using the oil that meets the specifications of your manufacturer, and on the Goldwing, it's in your manual, they tell you what the specifications are, then I think you're okay. Now, you'll never go wrong using Honda oil. And when I can get it, and if it's reasonably priced, I'll use Honda oil. But I have used other oils as well. I've used Castrol, so I've used other oils too. 
as long as it meets the specifications that Honda outlines for your engine, you're okay. Or your manufacturer outlines for your engine. If you're riding a BMW or a Harley or an Indian or whatever you're riding. Make a little U-turn here. So I'm not too concerned about the brand of oil as long as it meets the specifications. I would rather change the oil every 3,500 to 4,000 miles than to worry about the brand of the oil. Again, costs a little more to use the Honda oil, but if you don't want to, if you don't want to think about it, don't want to have to worry about it, go ahead and use the Honda oil. Now, when it comes to the oil filter, it's a little bit different story. Because Honda doesn't really outline a specification for the filter. And I use Honda oil filters exclusively. Now, in my 2012, I have used other brand filters. I had used per Perlator. I think years ago I used Supertech. But I don't think Supertech makes one to fit the Goldwing anymore. But just because it will screw onto the engine of the Goldwing doesn't mean it's a good oil filter for the Goldwing. There are a lot of differences between oil filters. If you cut them in half and you look at how they're manufactured, there are differences. And rather than be concerned about it and worried about saving $5 on an oil filter, I just prefer to use the Honda oil filters. That's just my opinion. So that's pretty much my philosophy on the oil as it pertains to my Goldwing and that could apply to some different motorcycles uh, depending on what you ride because a lot of my viewers ride different kinds of bikes. Remember, you'll never harm your engine with fresh, clean oil. And I enjoy doing oil changes. I, I do it myself. I do my own oil change. I have never taken my motorcycle to a dealer to have the oil changed. And I figure in the last 12 to 15 years, I've saved thousands of dollars in dealer labor charges just by doing my own oil changes. Not to mention the air filters and the brake pads and the brake fluids and all the other things that I talk about in my maintenance videos. So if you're even minimally mechanically inclined, you can change your own oil. If you don't know how, that's why I have my maintenance videos to show you step by step how to do those kinds of things. But it's really pretty simple. It's pretty easy. And once you do it, you'll know how to do it. And uh, you'll get it down to where you can change your oil and your gold wing in about 15, 20 minutes at the max. So that's my oil controversy video for the day. I can't wait to see your comments of what you do with your motorcycle, how you change your oil, what's your philosophy on oil changes. Oh, and one other thing. When I have a new motorcycle, I always do my first oil change within the first thousand miles. I don't wait 4,000 miles like Honda recommends. I go ahead and do it at 1,000 miles. Doesn't matter what brand motorcycle it is. I just, I have always done that. I believe it's important and I have looked at the oil coming out of that bike at a thousand miles and you go out in the sunshine and you roll that oil around in the oil pan and you'll see little silvery reflections from the machining process of that engine. I don't want those little metal, tiny metal shavings staying in my engine any longer than I have to so at a thousand miles I change the oil and I've always had good luck I've never had an engine failure so thanks again for joining me today on cruise man's motor vlogs please put your comments down below and I look forward to reading what you have to say about changing the oil and I'm sure I'm gonna get flamed anytime you talk about oil you get all kinds of people that have strong opinions about it same thing with tires and we'll do a tire video coming up for too long 
soon as I get my results back from my COVID-19 antibody test, I will put it in my next motor vlog. I should know in a couple of days. So thanks again for joining me, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.